How's it going everybody? This is Omega Nikon with The Gaming View and in today's video we are going to answer the question, what is the behemoth? If you've been enjoying Monster Hunter World, especially during this summer solstice event where we can play all the previous events that we've had, it's been fun, it's been awesome, but what do we want? We want some more monsters. And in an awesome turn of events, Capcom has announced a collaboration with Square Enix to bring us one of the staples of the Final Fantasy universe. I guess you could say he's the Rathalos of the Final Fantasy universe, and that's the Behemoth. Now the Behemoth, he's a recurring type of enemy in Final Fantasy series. He's sort of like a mini boss sometimes he's a final boss but not too much usually you can find him out in the world he debuted as a boss in Final Fantasy 2 although there was some artwork of him in the original Final Fantasy and behemoths are among the strongest enemies encountered in most of the Final Fantasy games they use strong physical attacks and often counterattacks with an attack of their own if the player casts any magic on them the behemoth will retaliate with a powerful spell like flare or meteor a common variant of the behemoth is the king behemoth the rogue behemoth dark behemoth or the Tyrant Behemoth. In Final Fantasy XV, which is the latest iteration that we've had of the Behemoth, which is amazing by the way, he's dubbed the King of Beasts. He's a ferocious creature. He possesses power nigh unparalleled throughout the animal kingdom. Its name is said to have been derived from the Astral, similarly revered for his peerless strength and feared for his overwhelming aura, the Blade Keeper, Bahamut. Basically what that's saying is that he's compared as in strength to Bahamut, which if you're unfamiliar, Bahamut is one of the main summons, one of the main monsters in Final Fantasy. Basically the icon of Final Fantasy and the behemoth rivals him. Its bestiary entry says that it is called the King of Beasts after Bahamut. He's named after him, the Blade Keeper. This is an allusion to the rest of the Final Fantasy series where Bahamut has been known as the Dragon King. So since being a boss in Final Fantasy 2, Behemoth has been a staple in everything associated with Final Fantasy since, as you can see here. And for us Monster Hunter fans, we are happy to have him. The gameplay so far looks amazing. He is gigantic in the Monster Hunter world, and we can't wait to get our hands on his armor, his weapons, and probably just fighting him to see how much he's gonna wreck us. So this is an awesome collaboration between Capcom and Square Enix. We love seeing things like this. This is something that the mobile versions of Monster Hunter probably won't be able to do, which makes Monster Hunter World a lot more valuable at this point. Behemoth will be an Elder Dragon in Monster Hunter World. It will use many of the same attacks as it does in Final Fantasy 15, like the ecliptic meteor that we can see in the video. It's shown to emerge from a wormhole and crash into the center of the Elder's Recess. So it'll be a little bit interesting to see how it comes over. We know we have the crystal that seems to be granting some of these monsters abilities, making them grow, and the behemoth may be coming here to reclaim it. In the video, we see the behemoth holding a dodogama in its mouth. It makes it look like it's nothing. We've seen the armor. It looks awesome. We've seen the weapons. It is a insect glaive. And there's also going to be a baby behemoth costume we can get for our baby pig. Poogie! All in all, this is a definitely welcome addition to the Monster Hunter World universe. Keep up the good work, Capcom. We need some more monsters. We're on the low end here of monsters for this game. I know it's probably a lot of work to get these things redone and updated with these graphics and mechanics for this game. As long as you continue to keep releasing things, hopefully we can speed up the process of releases. The only problem with Monster Hunter World is that it, after a couple weeks it gets a little stale, but if we keep getting new things like this, it'll keep it exciting, keep it fun to do. I have to say from my part, fighting the Behemoth in Final Fantasy XV Deadeye was awesome, was an awesome experience. Final Fantasy 15 overall was a pretty awesome experience, especially with the new take on how the world was and the mechanics of it were amazing. <clears throat> I didn't, I haven't had the chance to of fighting the Titan, the Tyrant Behemoth in Final Fantasy 15, but it looks amazing. My favorite rendition of the Behemoth probably was from Final Fantasy 8 because that's one of my personal favorites. But what is one of your favorites? Let me know what your experiences is in the comments from fighting the behemoth. If you had it in early editions of Final Fantasy or in later editions of Final Fantasy, I know Final Fantasy 13, they changed the way a lot of the monsters looked a lot, but maybe you guys liked it. So let me know in the comments what your preferred battle of the behemoth was. The Monster Hunter World Final Fantasy 14 crossover DLC will get released on August 1st, which will come with craftable armor, weapons, outfits for Arpu, 
Hoogie. There will be Cactuar in the world. That's going to be awesome. And we're going to get some pretty decent sized monsters. So if you're in the stage of crown hunting of Monster Hunter World, which a lot of us are, it looks like we'll be able to get those crowns with these enlarged monsters. So stay tuned. We're a little bit away. It's about a half a month away from August 1st. But when it does finally come out, stay tuned to our channel here. We're definitely going to have some videos maybe up on our Twitch or our Mixer of us fighting that thing and hopefully getting our butts kicked. Other than that, guys, thank you for checking out the channel. And again, let me know what is the best fight from the behemoth that you've had in your experiences in Final Fantasy. I'll be looking for those in the comments. If you or if you enjoy watching people over at Twitch, be sure to check our channel out at Twitch. Once we get to 50 followers, we will be giving a game away. And that game will be Earthfall, which is the new game that looks like Left 4 Dead. We're going to get a couple videos of that up here pretty soon. Again, though, thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the subs and the likes. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And that bell for notifications. And we'll see you guys later.